Hello Beats friends, in this video I want to show you how to bezel a Rivoli Swarovski size 14mm using some super duo beads. Uh, it's better to use a super duo beads and not twin beads because I try to make something with um, twin beads but the beads, the twin beads are not very regular and for this kind of bead work it's very important that all the beads have the same shape and the same size, okay? So, now I leave you to the tutorial, I hope that everything will be clear and see you soon on the next video, bye bye! To create this beadwork you need one needle, I'm using a needle by John James size 12. Then you need a bead weaving thread, the one you prefer. You need one color of seed beads size 15. I'm using this color, a silver color. Then you need 52 super duo beads, the color I choose is hematite. You also need one Rivoli by Swarovski, size 14 mm. And you need an earring component, I'm using this one. First of all, I have placed my stopping bead at the end of the thread and I made a note all around the bead. I pick up 13 super duo beads and I carry the beads to the end of the thread. Now, I sew through all the 13 super duo beads to close the working around. Now, don't worry about the position of your super duo beads. I'm going out from this super duo beads and then in the opposite direction I sew through the upper hole of the same super duo bead in this way. Now I turn the work so that I am more comfortable to work. I pick up one super duo bead and I sew through the upper hole of the next super duo bead. And I repeat the same step for other 12 times until the end of the round. Now I am adding the last super duo of the round. I pick up the bead and I sew through the next super duo and I also sew through the bottom hole of the next super duo bead that is the first super duo bead we have put on this new round. Now I'm going out from this super duo bead and in the opposite direction I sew through the upper hole of the same super duo bead. Now I turn the work to be more comfortable Again, I pick up another super duo bead and I sew through the upper hole of the next super duo bead. And I repeat the same step for other 12 times until the end of the round. And then I made another round. We need to have 4 rounds of super duo beads. You have to repeat always the same steps, it's really very very easy. As you can see, this is the shape of the work you must have. We have the first round, the second round, the third round and the fourth round. So, we have four rounds of super duo beads. Now, before going on, I suggest you to sew through the last round of beads uh, for one time, because in this way the structure of the beadwork will be very strong. As you can see, I'm going out from this super duo bead. Now I sew through the upper hole of the same super duo bead in this way. And then I turn the work to be more comfortable, as always. I pick up one seed bead the size 15 and I sew through the upper hole of the next super duo bead in this way. And I repeat the same step for other six times. Now, before adding the last six seed beads, I place in my beadwork the Rivoli Swarovski. And then I go on adding seed beads size 15. Now I'm adding the last seed bead of the round, I pick up the bead, then I sew through the 
upper hole of the next super duo bead and I also saw through all the beads of the last round all the super duo beads and seed beads of the last round because the work must be very tight now let's start with the decoration I'm going out from the upper hole of this super duo bead as you can see I pick up four seed beads size 15 then I skip this super duo bead and I sew through the upper hole of the next super duo bead and I repeat the same step for other 12 times until the end of the round ok now the front part is completed turn the work on the back I'm going out from the upper hole of the super duo on the second round this is the first round of super duo this is the second round and I'm going out from the upper hole of this super duo bead that is the super duo surrounded by the seed beads uh, size 15 as you can see I pick up three seed beads size 15 then since the hole of my hook is uh, very small I sew through the hole of my earring component and then I pick up three seed beads size 15 then I sew through the upper hole of the next super duo bead in this way now I pick up four seed beads size 15 and I sew through the upper hole of the next super duo bead in this way and I repeat the last step, the step with the four seed beads size 15 for other 11 times until the end of the round and then the work is finished this is the completed beadwork remember to cut the stopping bead uh, to tie off the thread you can sew through the beads and then you can make some notes I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you soon on the next video bye bye